Everybody. Welcome to the Lines and Tarot. So today I'm actually just going to delve into something a little controversial. Um, and that's because I see on Twitter this thing with Chan has been revived um, and them talking about, you know, Chan and appropriation and um, basically whether or not he feels sorry, feels apologetic, does he want to apologize? All of that kind of stuff. So we're about to get into just a very quick reading on Chan's feelings and find out, um, does Chan feel sorry for um, appropriating Black culture? Okay. Oh, my God. Faith union. Okay. Um, does he want to apologize? And what else do I want to know? Um Like, what does he feel like? Does he feel like he's right? Does he feel like he's wrong? I wonder if I have another deck that can go into this. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and just use this deck as well. Because I just want to delve into what's going on in Chan's mind for his scandal. Um, so is there anything that should be said or could be said about Chan's thought process on his appropriating cornrows? Um, how does he feel about it? Uh, I figured. Okay. So just to be very blunt, let me show you guys the cards first. Okay. So the cards that came out, um, I, I figured I was going to just, I could have gotten my answer from faith and union here. Um, but also we have compassion, witness, and um, love conquers all. Okay. So compassion, empathy, um, kindness, whatever. And then it also has two, to know personal evidence, to speak out, enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. Um Okay, so Chan seems like the type of person that's kind of like, you know, love conquers all, we're all one people, you know, it's not appropriation, we all have hair kind of person. So it's he doesn't feel bad for appropriating and he doesn't feel sorry for appropriating. He feels like everyone else just doesn't understand. Um, let me see. Ruin. Okay. He feels like he himself is also misunderstood. Like people are misunderstanding him. Like, you know, no, it's not a bad thing. I don't, you know, I'm not doing this to disrespect you. It, you know, it's, it's just hair. I feel like that's the kind of the type of person. So it's like, like you can be kind and wrong. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Nothing else is coming out of here, so it's like ruin. So his, uh, compassion and uh, compassion falls over ruin as well. So it's like he almost has a bitterness because of the kind of um, because of the effect or the response to his hair. So there is kind of like a um, a bitterness, um, a little bit of resentment. Let me see if anything else wants to come out on it. Anything else? Oh, okay. 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 So. Oh, well, let me just show you. Okay. The site. Theft. And purity came out. Okay. Again, it, it's kind of repeating the same thing. Like he likes braids. He likes, um, um, African culture, you know, like um, AAVE, all of that. He sees it, he takes it. He sees it, he uses it. But he thinks his intentions are pure. So even if he'll decide to say, you know, like in his song where he goes, um, 
something uh, my ninjas oh well i actually said ninjas not the n-word because i respect and love all you know something like that um the phrasing or putting that in there wasn't necessary to begin with for anyone to even mistaken him to say the n-word um so it's kind of like he has this weird way of trying to be progressive um and he tries to to be progressive by pushing envelopes where they shouldn't be pushed and where it's not his place to attempt to push it and so then when he's you know sort of misunderstood or people take it exactly the way it's presented um he doesn't really understand why he's getting backlash for it He's like, you know, I, well, I, I don't dislike black people. So why are people mad at me for, you know, using, using cornrows or, you know, I said ninja, I didn't say the N word. So why is it that people are mad that, that, you know, that's kind of how he feels like he definitely feels like, you know, we're all, we're all one race, the human race kind of, he's that kind of person. Um, so in conclusion, um, for those who are just looking for an answer, no, he does not feel sorry. Um, let me ask one more question, um, and I guess that'll see. Can he apologize, or, and will he apologize? Let's see if I can answer. Can he apologize? Does he have the option to apologize for his behavior or the things that he's done, the things that he has gotten hate for, gotten his group reigned for. Um, can he apologize? Patience. So maybe eventually there will be some sort of statement that he will actually make, but um, right now we're definitely not gonna get one. We're not gonna get one. I think um, what I kind of also am feeling with patience, if you notice that it's kind of like a child, you know, a child that's crying, a child that, you know, maybe you took a cookie from and they're crying because they don't understand why they can't have an extra cookie. They don't understand that they can get cavities that you don't mind my nails, guys. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get some new ones, but um, yeah, I'm going to get them done. But yeah, it's kind of like that. He's like, he doesn't understand why what he's doing isn't a statement, why it isn't progressive, why it isn't a good thing, um, why isn't aren't people catching his love of culture or his um, expression of love of culture? Uh, why aren't they taking it in a positive way? So it's kind of like you have to wait for him to mature. It'll probably take a while for him to see, oh, that's why this is the impact that it had before we get anything, um, if at all. Uh, but for right now, the clear answer is no, we're not getting anything anytime soon. Um, but yeah, so um, that is, that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that cleared up some things for you. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this. Let me know if you want any more readings um, on topics like this. Um, shout out to all my uh, black K-pop fans. But um, yeah, let me know, guys, if you guys want any more readings like this, uh, touching on sort of sensitive topics such as this um, and what you guys think. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. Bye. Hi, everybody. So this is sort of like a very quick bonus clip to the Chan reading because I realized that I don't think... I'm short time memory. I don't think I mentioned the apple or like if the apple was serious or not. So I just pulled for that after I'd already started to upload the video. And I asked if the apple thing was, um, if it was genuine, did he genuinely mean that or not? Um, and got, I got um, consume violence and mystery. And literally what I got is he deliberately did that not as an apology but just to see what like pe people's reaction would be to it it was not to apologize but literally to see people go crazy over whether or not it actually was an apology so he wanted people to consume the the literally the apple the um uh image of what the apple would stand for and um like the mystery behind whether it was deliberate or not um and you know he knew the that it was going to drive people crazy kind of going back and forth um 
through that. I'm just going to see. This is a brand, brand new deck, and it has a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to see if I can draw anything that makes sense from it. Joy. Yeah. Magic. Okay. <sighs> I don't, I'm, okay, so joy and magic. So here again, I kind of feel like it was like he found it fun. Um, just basically how much that little trick could, his little magic trick where with the apple, you know, like how much chaos it kind of caused. Um, also, there was, it was not for an apology, but there was also a sense of, well, I hope that makes somebody feel better kind of thing like maybe that'll help you know maybe that'll fix things but it was there was no actual genuine apology there at all yeah integrity yeah there was there was there was no genuine integrity the intent yeah oh lord yeah domain shift authenticity it was not an authentic and genuine apology so for those who were concerned about the apple no it was actually kind of sadistic the way he kind of did the apple thing there was actually no um he it's i i'm i'm sorry this is stressing me out a bit but yeah he actually thought it was funny he thought it was really funny the way fans kind of like you know fought over whether it was real or not, if it was genuine. Um, like, I like, even with some something about JYP, like, I guess, like, with JYP, hold on, let me try to see what it, I'm getting. Something about, like, J, okay, I'm getting, like, I'm hearing JYP, and I'm feeling like it's, like, um, like if they think like fans wondering if JYP had any like is is holding them back um, from an apology, which is a good question. Is JYP holding them back from an apology? Elimination, okay. Evolution, okay. Um, I don't know my card. Hatred. Ooh. I don't know. Um, now there could be there could be actually some part of JYP that is involved in this who is not aiding Chan's um, mental ev evolution, his growth, um, because I think you know they both kind of have a little warped sort of image of um, right and wrong. I'll just put it to you like that. I think they do have. Um, He's okay. Here's what I'm getting. JYP is not holding him back from apologizing. They just both don't think it's necessary. And that's how I'm going to put it to you. Neither one of them think it's necessary. They don't think it's a problem, you know, so that that's what it means. Like he's holding him back from um, evolution. And then the hatred is kind of resentment that's gained from the um, the negative attention he's getting because neither one of them see it as wrong. OK, I mean, it's JYP. And if y'all know about JYP's past and his music and some of his shows, you know what JYP looks like. So, you know, it's not about um, it's not about whether or not JYP lets him. It's just both of them have the same mindset, okay? Um, yeah. And fear, fear of change, fear of evolving, um, fear of response, um, fear of bringing back up something that they, you know, old news. So, yeah, I mean, long story short, they don't care. They don't think it's a problem. So they both kind of have similar mindsets, Um you know, it, it is a kind of negative viewpoint um, that they may view as positive or just more of not positive, just not a problem, not a big deal. So that's kind of what's going on in there. If you guys like readings like this, um, kind of delving into the minds of idols or um, uh, CEOs or whatever, just let me know. Um, all right, until next time. Bye.